Hey Carlies, guess whose birthday week it is? I am turning 25! You know what, it's not even my birthday week. It's been my birthday week for a while. It's my birthday in three days, in three days. And I've not been processing it because of everything that's been going on. But wow, like I'm really, I'm really progressing age-wise. I was literally freaking out in the girls group chat last night. I was telling them like, if I'm halfway through my 20s, then y'all are getting old because i'm the youngest in the group as much as i want to stay youthful forever i'm so happy to be in my grown woman era and it's gonna be my first birthday obviously in dubai but also my first birthday without my girlies which is gonna be weird this is gonna be such a weird birthday but i'm very excited for it as well i don't really know what i'm doing for my birthday but my arm is hurting <gasps> look what i got guys i got a rug and it feels so soft, it's the best thing ever. Do you know how happy it makes me to be able to just lie on my floor now? I am that girl that does her makeup on the floor and I can't really do that because I'm not trying to get this rug dirty, but I can finally like sit and do my hair over here on the floor. It makes me so happy. I'm just like laying here all the time. I do need to get like an actual sofa. I'm gonna put it like here. So I have like a lot of space over here. Because I don't actually know what I'm really doing for my birthday. My husband has taken it upon himself to surprise me. So I don't really know what we're doing. My birthday is on the 30th, which is a Saturday. It's Wednesday. But he has something planned for the day before, the Friday. I'm pretty sure that's just like a dinner. I'm pretty sure. But he's being so like cryptic about things. So I told him like, did you like book a place? Cause he can be quite forgetful. And he was like, don't worry about it. And I was, what do you, what do you mean don't worry about it? Did you or did you not? Like I know we're going for a dinner. I'm hundred percent sure. But, and then I think we're going to do something with all our friends on the Saturday. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening that day. But he's also really throwing me off. Cause he came into our room the other day like, babe, hypothetically, theoretically, could we just like, go somewhere for a while and i was thinking is this guy about to take me on a holiday when we've not been on our honeymoon and if he's taking us on our honeymoon i don't have outfits what do you mean i need to plan my outfits for my honeymoon i was like you're stressing me out like do i need to go shopping we are we are actually going shopping today but that's not why i'm very excited to see what he has planned with that being said i need an outfit for the dinner and i need an outfit for whatever we're gonna do the next day so i need to go shopping you know what beyond my birthday i just need to go shopping in general i feel like all i've been saying is how i need to rebuild my wardrobe but i've been slowly doing that i got a lot of things from cost the other day like i love the quality i love the style like it's very me i think style wise i'm very much in my classy girl era do you know what i mean like i don't really wear trendy things anymore i don't think they like look good on me anyway like i'm just like trying to find timeless pieces look timeless and elegant um i actually got these pants from cost they're kind of like yoga pants but they're not oh my god don't look at my toes and it's kind of gonna be my first solo trip out in dubai i could have gone with sophia but i honestly oh ahmed but i don't want to like i don't want them to hold me back I, does that sound really bad to say but i just feel guilty like taking my time in stores when somebody's with me because i don't want them to be waiting on me like i need to go there and get shit done like i need to shop i need to shop so we're gonna go over and have like a little solo day like get coffee do some shopping tomorrow is our little pamper day we're gonna be getting our hair done nails done everything done no that's literally just about it that's literally all we're gonna get done these nails would you believe it are still my wedding nails i was meant to get them done literally like two weeks ago but then i forgot so then i was going to actually get them done a week ago but then i was like oh my god it's my birthday like i should just hold out i'm so excited guys i'm gonna do the butterfly cut my hair has actually grown a lot like it's literally this long which is very hard to manage so i feel like i need to get some really good layers in there so that it doesn't just feel like a mop on my head let's go shopping okay outfit of the day we have the pants that are from cos this is my husband's t-shirt and then i actually got this bag from cos as well which i think is adorable and pairing it all with some new balance super chill very comfy vibes today Okay, 
we've got quite a few things to try here. I had to grab myself a coffee from Costa first because I was convinced I was gonna pass out. Mm. Okay, let's get to trying. Okay, first up we have this silk shirt, which I'm kind of obsessed with this shirt. Love anything silky and this feels amazing. Even with the pants, it's like low-key cute. What do we think? I really like this one. I feel like everybody needs a basic white t-shirt and this is a really good material, super good fit. I'm thinking more like blue jeans not really black and white i thought this top was really cute when i saw it but now that it's on <laughs> i don't know it's kind of giving i don't know what it's giving milkmaid what is this got the same in a black so maybe the black will look better but this is disappointing it looks so much better in the black but what i've realized guys is i can't really wear black anymore now that my hair is dark i kind of just fade into one what i love about cos is everything always has pockets which is amazing it's a super pretty dress i don't know if it matches with my age is my issue but hear me out for the joggers first of all these are a size medium and i would get an extra small so ignore that but i kind of love the slouchy look it's so funny because if my parents saw me wearing these like slouchy joggers out they would be so disappointed in me <laughs> i love them i might order them online in an excess i'm going some trainers i think they look great so that shopping trip was somewhat successful and somewhat unsuccessful i succeeded in purchasing clothes that i do not need this weekend why 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 i don't know so i'm actually gonna have to go back tomorrow oh look my watch guys finally got my watch ignore my hairy arms but oh my goodness is she not beautiful i know that your hair feels thinner that's what everybody says but i don't mind like i want something that when i style it it just looks like effortless and everything like i always style my hair so i'm like i need something that looks good when i style it and my hair usually like it's so heavy that any style won't hold and i need something that's gonna like keep it looking that way Text me twice with the invitation. You're out there waiting with your hazard lights. Come by surprise. So you meant just what you said when you sent the text. You press and not intoxicated. No, you weren't drunk or you designated. Got your car parked and I'm glad you made it. So I don't know if I am crazy on my intuition. It's crazy. Basically, I think the girls are surprising me in Dubai. First and foremost, they both got their nails done yesterday. Not suspicious. That wouldn't be that suspicious. We always get our nails done together. But I was messaging the group chat today, asking for opinions on my birthday outfit, whatever. And why weren't my messages replying to either of them? And then, suddenly, about half an hour ago, my message is delivered to them both. Thirdly, Ahmed was like, oh we should get cleaners to come you know clean the place and i was like well they literally came three days ago like the place is clean we don't need to get cleaners furthermore he was meant to meet me at dubai mall tonight then he's like oh like work is holding me up either he did have a crazy work day or he had to go pick up the girls from the airport i i don't know guys but neither of them are answering my calls a little bit suspicious either i just miss them so much that i have fabricated this entire thing but I swear guys, this all hit me. Like, like literally, it's like I had a Sherlock moment in the cab home. It's like piecing this together and this together and this together. And the most suspicious thing is the fact that my messages haven't been delivered to them. And now that they're not answering my calls. And if they are in the car with Ahmed on the way here, I know they hate me. I know they hate me because they're probably thinking we were so sure that we were going to catch her on a surprise. And you know what they did almost almost i was calling ahmed ahmed's not picking up he's not picking up also suspicious you know what i should 
actually check flight times today and see if it landed like half an hour ago like if a plane has landed half an hour ago just to like really solidify my detective skills departure 9 50 a.m from manchester airport arrived at 8 p.m dubai time let's call them again <laughs> I know she's gonna hate me and i'm doing it as a video call oh would you look at that declined oh let's call rishi i know they hate me <laughs> it's all too suspicious it's too suspicious any minute now i promise you guys they're gonna walk through that door I do and I was like, well, you've read the chat. Like, how are you not going to answer okay, the phone? I've opened now. it accidentally, so we need to think of something immediately. She's like, so what do we do? I said, Literally, so you She was like, think. I was like, what do you want me to do? Okay, turn around, look at the view. Oh my god. It doesn't look real. Oh my god, oh is my that water? God. Yeah, well, this is all water. We're on the marina. Oh, you see boats go by, it's working for parachute. Are you guys happy to be here? Yeah. I'm so excited. Uh, you know what? so full circle about this when i was really sad after i came back from yeah. our little staycation yeah. ahmed went downstairs to go get something i came out here on my balcony shut the door and just sobbed on the balcony thinking about you guys and we're literally here on the exact place we're together i'll cry again right now good night kids good night mom see you tomorrow Bye. Bye. <laughs> My birthday is literally around the corner and I still don't know what I'm wearing. But it's okay guys, I have ordered many dresses. I've ordered quite a few dresses from Revolve, which I'm hoping like at least one of them is gonna be good enough. And it's not like I've left myself with a lot of time for other options. I honestly couldn't really find anything at the malls, Emirates Mall, Dubai Mall. I look kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I don't know. I don't know if I should be trying on dresses looking like this. But I already told you guys in my other vlog, it doesn't matter how bummy I look, I have to try on my clothes. We have quite a few dresses to get through and I think we will find the one. So let's get to trying on some dresses. I really thought that we were gonna start off strong, but what is this? Why does it look like this on my body? What is this about guys? Like, why is it all baggy over here? I'm so disappointed in this dress. Like, I actually honestly thought that this was gonna be the one. Like, look at this dress. Is it not screaming birthday? This could have been the one. I love the color. It's screaming birthday. <sighs> Let's try on the next dress. Do you know what? My issue with this dress is, it's kind of giving a bit more like vacation holiday. I don't know if it's really birthday dressy and it does fit me nicely. So I really do like that about it. And I love the colour. You know what? If, if I don't wear this for my birthday, I think I'll save it for like the honeymoon. This with like a sunset behind me. Stunning. Immediate, yes. Oh my god, this dress. I love this colour. I love it. It's so glam, very sophisticated, giving 25. Do you know what I mean? I just feel so good in this dress. I think it has to be this one. Like none of them has made me feel like this. It definitely needs an iron, but. I love the neckline. It just hugs you in all the right places. 
This was the next dress that I was going to try on. It's this beautiful blue. Honestly, just for the colour alone, I should probably try this. But I just don't see it beating this dress. Like, it's cute and everything. I really like it. But I think this is definitely more like a sophisticated birthday. Okay, well, I'm ready, so I'm not worried. Hence the makeup, guys. We've gone quite festively with it. I'm not actually going to bring you guys along today just because I just want to be able to enjoy my birthday without being like, oh, I need to vlog this, pull this out. And honestly, I just don't even want to take my camera. So that's what we're going to do today. Yeah, what do you think it is? <laughs> I don't know, but it's obviously something big. <laughs> From Bloomingdale's. Bloomingdale's. Bloomies. <laughs> Saint Laurent. <laughs> Saint Laurent. Happy birthday to my other half and the most beautiful star in the universe. Yeah. Oh my god. I love it. She's so cute. It's actually beautiful. It's beautiful and I needed Sorry. a bag this color. Yeah, exactly. Oh, thank Perfect. you, baby. We just uh, make sure the work in the show. <laughs> hey, gang. Hey losers! I've we... never actually gone to go watch a football game. This is hilarious. Yeah. I told you, I feel like I'm going to watch Ronaldo play. Ba basically, guys, <laughs> Triple A. You guys know Triple A. Um, my but... husband's brand. Oh my god. Um, they're basically sponsoring a football team here in Dubai, and we've come to watch their first game. Yeah, we've come to sit outside <laughs> for 90 minutes. We <laughs> all the Dubai heat. heat. We almost didn't make it. They were gonna leave us behind because. We were getting ready, realistically, so they have realistically they should have left us behind. Mm, I told them like I could honestly go to sleep, so don't really know what we're gonna be doing here. Why did she come in heels? They're not heels. No, they actually are. And I told you not to wear them as well, you little embarrassment. <laughs> How am I embarrassing? Are you dumb? How is that embarrassing? Walk away, walk away. Don't, we don't know. Her. We don't know. Her. <laughs> oh my god, me and Rachel come in the exact same outfit. That's embarrassing. That's what's embarrassing. Like we're literally in the same okay, outfit. Was it planned? Though? Was it planned? No, it wasn't. Shoes. Not. Jean and a black top. Anyway, I think they're warming up. Is that what they're doing? So. Let's go see our team. So, what do you think? Are they gonna win? <laughs> they're definitely gonna win. Sour FC will win this. We'll win this season. Sour FC. Sour FC. These guys were like, it's called sour. No, it's All right, sour. Sour. All right, we're sour. saying it with an sour a FC. British accent. Show them sour. the team. Team is over this there. Is the team. So we got some good players over here. Yeah, definitely. This is Ahmed's brother. You guys might remember what's him up? for the wedding vlog. Say hi to the yeah, gang. What's up, guys? You looking fly? Nice. He's looking fly. Look at the trim, fresh, fresh. Yeah. What do you think? Are they gonna win? Sure, I gave him the haircut. Look at it. I gave him the haircut. <laughs> look. Do you guys think they look alike? I think they look kind of similar, but not really. Hey, guys, no fighting. Come on. We're here to represent. <laughs> we got the main man himself. Ali's actually playing. What position do you play? Right back. How are you feeling? You ready? You just easy, gave him a, a good easy, pep talk, yes. yeah? We're gonna we're get gonna, the job done. We're gonna win this game as a start. I don't know about that if my players are doing that shit. But we're gonna win the game. Yeah. And then we're gonna win the league. That's Come the first on. step. One, two, Come three, on. each game at a time. Easy Let's peasy. Go. Triple A to the moon. 
A little post game, get together. Oh, this is such a cute place. You know what's great? The weather is getting so much better. Adi, shut up, shut your mouth. Okay, there you go. Hey. There you go. Now you're included. He clearly wants the clout. He wants to be in the vlog. He's dying for it. The weather is so nice that we can actually sit outside now. Like, it's actually tolerable now. Look how excited they are watching the video I just posted. Only because they're in it. Only because they're in it. Oh my god. That's the bad one. Dollar. Thank you. I do try on my videos. I'll share it with you. Ahmed, give me a phone. What'd you get? I got truffle pasta. We got chicken and meat sliders. Nice. Nice. Right. Look at our curds fighting to pay for the bill. Every time. <laughs> That's what the fuck? No, boss. What do you mean it's not? I have the bill right here. Hey, bro, try to cut the bill. <laughs> you, baby. baby, I'm interrupting my vlog. <laughs> Good morning, guys. I probably sound a little bit ill today because I've actually been ill the entire time. Like, I didn't really say it to my vlog because I was just trying to pretend that I wasn't going through what I was going through. But the day after the girls came, like the first date that they fully had here, the day of my birthday dinner, I had the worst sore throat, like to the point where at the mall, guys, I literally had to leave them, go to Boots, get like a throat spray. And I didn't speak to them the entire time because it felt like there was knives in my throat. But the next day, I felt much better. And you guys saw that we went to the festival. It was so much fun. It was just like the best experience with the best company and the best birthday ever with the best husband ever. Screw guys, I'm the best. Okay, lots of energy, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, so we're actually on our way to go to the medical center, not because I'm ill. I have to get a medical report done for my work visa. So you need to get that done and you have to do like biometrics or something. Um, I need to go get like a studio photo taken for my um, Emirates ID. Just doing some like work related stuff today. We've left the kids at home. I don't know if they're gonna, how they're gonna fend for themselves. I was saying to Ahmed, I'm getting so used to having them here that like, I feel like they should just be around always. That guy photoshopped my photo so much and I was like, you keep doing your thing. <laughs> made me look like Beyonce. Like he literally made me look like a different person. It was crazy. We did the photos, we did the medical test picked up some Starbucks really quickly. He's gonna go off to work. I'm gonna go and link up with the girls and figure out what we're gonna do today. Another hard day at the office. <laughs> I built this boutique with my bare hands. And then I just let these guys work here because why not? <laughs> Why is this island? <laughs> so shy. Me and Roger are here today at AAA headquarters because we're gonna do some modeling. Stop it. <laughs> could they find better models? I don't think they could. We're gonna be their wrist models. Show them wrist food. Show them what we're working with. Hey, hey, okay. Hey. <laughs> don't even know what we're gonna really shoot. I think we're doing like some unboxing. You wish you had this she coffee right now. You, you wish you had this coffee right now. I do. I do. And what are you lying about? I, really I ask you every meal, do you want something? Oh. No, I'm not hungry. No, I don't want. You'll never hear me ask again. <laughs> sure. We never heard you ask in the first place. That's why we're here right now. He gets iced coffee just so he can do this. It makes him feel bad. <laughs> Come baby, have your iced coffee. What's the problem? What Just come on, have your iced coffee. Yeah, bro. Mm. Hey, Thank you for the donuts. Oh. This one doesn't... Oh, that's aesthetic. Yeah. That's aesthetic. Yeah, that's yeah. Wrong. Oh, I don't, I don't have, have the first gloves. gloves. gloves that's not my job. We're literally doing not, everything. Not, not but, but working. working. <laughs> what is this? Try this one. What is it? 
Which one? Just a glove. Our nails are not. Let me enjoy my donut first. Richard Mills. This is the AP of two protects here and a Frank Muller. Yeah, just cover it with your hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Three, two, one, go. Are you ready for your big moment? This is like my big break and I'm like completely nervous, like I don't want to fuck it up. I did such an amazing job that it's going to be difficult for you to live up to what I just did, so... Do you want me to have a panic attack? Why are you attacking my husband? He's like those guys on TikTok that they make fun of. <laughs> oh my goodness! We're part of the team, guys. Mm. Where my shorts? Hey, baby. <laughs> Triple A. Zip it, me. Do they know that I'm a skinny queen? Kind of tight on me. I want something like. What this. happened to? Do they know I'm a skinny queen? <laughs> what happened to that? Alien. Three. Triple A. Okay, I'm so sophisticated with a high neck. On to location number two. We're gonna shoot a city walk, right? Yeah. City walk, and I don't really know what kind of shoot we're gonna do. We have a vision, and it involves shopping bags, and like me coming out, like, you know, like rich girl life, because that's the kind of aesthetic and lifestyle that they're trying to sell on AAA. <laughs> Yeah. You ready? This place is so cute. Is this a mall? I think it's a mall. <laughs> What does it make it look crazy? Why do I look like that with buses? Oh, thank you, thank you. It kind of It's so funny. She has been doing literally nothing, nothing all day. <laughs> if you guys couldn't tell, I mean, I don't know why you'd be able to tell because literally all we did was show some singing. But we're here at Mini Golf. Yeah, if you lose the game, you have to sing a song. I said she's going to lose on purpose. telling ourselves that we lost on purpose <laughs> not telling ourselves that's what happened yeah i know you're right that's what happened that's what happened because we, we wanted to sing we wanted our moment we knew that everybody had to experience that and nobody would deliver the way that we would deliver yeah so we're walking in jbr this is yeah. what jbr <gasps> Look looks that. like this is where the beach is we've not really walked on the beach yet so that's what ahmed said we should go and do get ice cream i feel like as we got here, it got like a little bit cooler. It's because we're near the water. Like when we sang, we worked up a bit of a sweat, yeah. you know, we're entertainers. <laughs> it got a bit hot. Mm -hmm. But now it's kind of cool. I like mm. it. It's nice. It's 
size of my head. <laughs> What a great shot. Ah, I wonder which great mind thought of that. Guess what we're doing? We're playing paddle. Yep, that's what we're doing. Do I know how to play paddle? Of course not. You ready to play? Yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. See, I'm not gonna lie, guys. We're shit. We're so bad that I almost threw up from laughing. <laughs> But we literally have no idea how to play this game But I think we're gonna get better And I'm just gonna wait until the next time that we go And then if we get better I'm gonna include some clips If I don't, just know that we're shit Yeah Yes, yeah, Saman Yeah, mate Yeah Terrible things started happening when you walked away. So that's why I stay right here. Cause when all of my dreams seem so out of reach, you're crystal clear. You don't disappear, baby. No. First and foremost, how tan do I look? We've been to the pool quite a lot. To be honest, I've only been twice. That's such a lie, they've been more than me. So basically, I have a pool in my apartment complex. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, but we've been doing a lot of morning pool sessions and just tanning, being in the pool. Like we literally start our day like that and it's just the best thing ever, but we've really caught a tan. You had a good base tan then. Look how tan Whoa. you look. Oh my god, girl. Is that me? <laughs> anyway, guys, it's been a while since I vlogged, and it's the last day for the girls, which is super sad. But you know what? We've all reached a point where we've spent enough time <laughs> with each other. Enough. We've had enough of each other. We've got sick of each other. We're all ready to just be like in our own lives again. Hasn't it been the best time? The best time ever. And we were meant to do something today because obviously it's their last day. And when I tell you guys, after we came back from the pool at one, I think we tried to get up to do something like four times today. And each time we just settled for like a movie. Each, I think each... we've, ch we've changed positions on this couch twice. Yeah, it's true. And you know what? I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I've had the best time of my life. And we put in a little bit of effort right now. And that's only because we thought we were going to go to Top Golf. And then that didn't happen. You know what? It only that wasn't takes... our fault though. Yeah, Whose that fault wasn't was our that? fault. Mm. Whose fault was that? I want some ice cream. Mm. <laughs> the thing is, guys, they didn't have to force it. Like, if all they wanted to do today was chill, they do have a flight to catch at like 5 a.m. in the morning. So they're not going to sleep tonight. Yeah. So if they just wanted to chill, like, just go chill, you know? And it only takes one person to be like, Mm, and we're like yeah let's you got go. up at one point i literally you got up, got up, up like i that was like good. That was, i sat up well. no you got up no no i sat up first yeah took a deep breath and i stood up i said guys like i'm making the first move to really like push everyone to get up Ooh. even though i'm the last person that wants to do anything but you know for the sake of these two i'm like let me get up and get ready they started talking about well why don't we just watch another movie we can go later and then next thing you know We've not done anything all day. Yeah. It's the you know what it is though? It's, it's as soon as Ahmed made the suggestion, someone just... So, yeah, that's person. what I said. And Literally, it takes one person. It takes us... It's so easy. This but is this is what we thrive in. It's right? true. Like This, this is, is who we are. This is what no. we're here for. And me and Rouge have been talking about, oh my God, we've not vlogged anything. Like, what, what are these people going to watch? Like, it's going to be the most boring vlog ever. Yeah. But we've had a blast. We, yeah, we've had a blast. We just couldn't bring you guys along. Because it, it would be so boring. Yeah. <laughs> like, you'd watch us just watching a movie. Just I mean, we did go to the cinema yesterday. Oh, we so spontaneous. Yeah, yeah, and that like that was at like 10pm. That was crazy. We 
crazy. It was crazy. We went and watched, what was it even called? The Creator. And it was really good, but really it was good. mediocre at the same time. Like, it's a nice watch, but I wouldn't be like, oh my God, you have to go watch that film. If someone said to me, like, I'm like, you know, like, what's new? I want to go to the cinema. I'd be like, oh my God, like, you have to go watch The Creator. But I wouldn't be like, oh my God, like. You just said that though? No, no, no. But I wouldn't be like, oh my God, you know what you need to do? You need to go to the cinema Why and watch The Creator. Why are you lying? You walked out of it because... Like I'm falling asleep throughout it, and I was like, Louis, All right, but don't watch it again." And she was like, "Like, give me a month's time. I'm gonna have to go watch that again." No, 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 no. What? No, you no. said that. No, no, so no, no, no. What? I don't know why you remixed it like that. I said, it, I said, in a <laughs> month's time, crazy. I would watch it again. What did I just say? You said, I, Rich, that I said in a month's time, I have to watch it again. That's too crazy There's statements. so many movies that I genuinely think were incredible movies that I would not watch again in a month. So you're kind of wild for that. All right, well, maybe yesterday I was just really feeling it. But yeah, I mean, we both did cry. And then funny. all the guys turned around to us like, are you yeah. guys okay? Like, what's going on? Yeah, the price just been a movie. Literally, I'm looking for another movie as we speak right now. <laughs> it's been literally a movie. Rujo over here is packing up a storm. She's literally... <laughs> Unboxed her entire suitcase. Is unboxed even I though I think so. No. You've got loads of packing. stuff in the bathroom as well. Don't forget. I hate my life so yeah. much right now. Just us and the beautiful skyline for one last time for them. For now. Yeah. So let's wrap it up, guys. What did we think about Dubai? Did you like it? We loved it. It's Dubai was beautiful. Amazing. It was beautiful. Um, I'll step forward so you guys can actually be in frame. Okay. Yeah, go on. No, it's been great. I feel like like now it feels homey to us. Yeah. We don't feel so like detached from it. It feels like, honestly, it feels like my second home. Do you feel like you are more inclined to want to move here now? 100%. Yeah? I was saying as well, there's nothing that's better than being in Dubai except for the weather. But that's something that but even I now, feel like I've gotten used to. Like, now. yeah. A week ago, this camera would have been, like, foggy. Guys, you know what it is? It's so funny when they say that to me because when I first got here, it was actually disgusting. And I was thinking, these two would not have coped in that weather. Like, this yeah. has been lovely for me. I'm like, yes, like, it's finally getting to nice weather. Even now, yeah. this is... Like, this, is, this is a lovely no, temperature. This is, this is not bad at all. I'm gonna miss this view so much. It is a really gorgeous view. Well, Hopefully we'll be back. Okay, and to finish it off, what was your highlight? Honestly, just the days Our, that we did nothing. Yeah. The days that we Which did was nothing. a few days, but yeah. why this a couch day. right here. Like what we're about to do right now, go in there, cuddle up, watch a movie. Like that is just that's just what I've been needing. It's it's you know, my soul. It's it's our love language for yes. all of us, for me and Ahmed, for like just my family, my mom yeah. and dad. Like sure. as a family, we just watch movies, have some snacks and relax and we didn't want to like try and do things just to do things yeah. like there was like a really good balance but i think everyone's yeah. like feeling content with how much we've seen each other like two weeks is quite a long time a long for you time. guys to have yeah. been here i feel like if we would have done like all the touristy stuff it makes time go like so fast so that like, it feels yeah. like we're not spending yeah. time like yeah. together we wanted to be born of each other and like, you know when i was like really time. sad when you guys weren't here yeah. i was saying to ahmed like like I just wish like they were just sat on my sofa like just yeah. talking to me um, and it feels like we like finally got to do that this time um, but yeah everyone's definitely really excited to get back into their routine yeah everyone's excited to go back home well I don't know are you guys gonna be a bit depressed you know, when you what go I was back? saying to Roosh just before you came here on the balcony mm -hmm. I was saying I haven't deemed that we actually have to say bye to you for at least like yeah yeah, yeah. but I'm was... gonna pretend it's not like that like, guys it's gonna fly by yeah it will fly by yeah. and you know what we're all gonna be on our grind once it's we depart true. from each other we'll be super busy i feel like i look kind of ill what is this lighting this lighting is disgusting it's kind of weird because they're leaving at like 4 a.m to catch their flights and i'm personally not gonna stay up till 4 a.m my ass is gonna be asleep at like 2 a.m <laughs> I'm not staying up. I've got a normal life routine to get back to tomorrow. So I was like, it's so weird because I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna say bye to them, go to sleep, and wake up in a home that they're not in. Thanks for having us. Oh, wow. I miss you guys. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. No emotions. Are you gonna cry? You know what? I cried so, the other day, but I was doing it in secret. Wow. Okay. So you nice. keep, keep doing that in secret. No, no tears, guys, please. No, 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 no tears, no tears. Enough tears. I've cried enough and told my vlog enough how I've been crying and this and that. <laughs> it's and true. 
You guys probably think I'm depressed by this point, so... As you should be. Don't be <laughs> depressed, <joking>. please! <laughs> Goodbye, guys. Bye!